Hey guys, how's it going? It's me. It's been quite a while, it? let's be honest. Um, and I know I said I'd like, do a, a video like it once a month. Um, there's a reason behind that. Now, obviously, you knew that, because uh, I believe I told you, I would actually look to the video back to see if I have, but if I'm wrong, I apologise. But I believe I did say that I was doing my theory test um, in February on the 22nd. Yeah, I failed it. <laughs> um, yeah, it was kind of a, a kick to the ego, if I'm quite honest, but uh, you know, we can't always get things bang on all the time. Um, I did fail. And I was kind of put out about it, which is why I didn't like make a video, you know, saying I failed. Because <laughs> I didn't want to jinx myself. However, today is the 1st of March, and I have literally today just passed my theory test. And my hazard perception test, all in one. So, uh, yeah, I'm buzzing. Um, what comes next? Well, my part two comes next, and I have, um, well, about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, I uh, had a phone call from Jeff, who was one of the local instructors, um, who can do the audit, and he's going to take me out for two hours on next Thursday, which is a week today, and then two weeks today, I do my uh, part two test. So, uh, the ball's rolling now, which is a good thing. Unfortunately, they don't do the test in my area, so I have to, um, yeah, go to Pontefract. So, it's not too bad, it's not bad me. Um, I just don't want to be doing it in Leeds, because Leeds is, well, Leeds is Leeds. It's a pain in the ass, and if I'm going to mess up, it'll be in Leeds, so I'm just staying out. Because being under tension, it's, it's difficult to do. I mean, if you've ever sat your driving test before, or, well, I say motorcycle test, but motorcycle test is a little bit different. I know you don't think it is, but believe me, it is. Um, when you do your car test, you're under a lot of pressure, especially when you're getting exams. So, yeah, it's one of them. I don't want to be in a, a complete gridlock situation because I'm driving in my car doing the test. So, yeah. Uh, other news, other news, other news. Mount, new mount. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, kind of a work in progress. So, yeah, you kind of bounce around a lot, but. I kind of wanted to go down the whole route of helmet cams again um, without wearing a helmet in the car because that just looks ridiculous and I believe it's illegal on the road. Um, I have to check that. Never really needed a reason to check that, but I'll have to check that. Um, so, yeah, uh, my new mount I've designed, 3D printed, um, holds it on the headrest, which is kind of a genius idea, but also kind of not a genius idea, surely because of the way that things are with the headrest. It's connected to the chassis, it's connected to the, everything, the suspension, and a little minor bump from the suspension has a, quite a big effect on the arm because it's such a long arm. Um, I will edit a little photo in so you can see what the arm looks like here. There you go, you've seen it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I still need to do some updates to this arm because it's not, it's, it's how I want it but it's not, if that makes sense. There's a little bit too much weight on it um, to one side, which is obviously connected to the seat as well. It's just, that's causing all the vibrations. Hopefully the camera is kind of dampening them down because if you see the camera wobbling, it's like, what the hell? But then again, it used to be kind of like that when I was on the bike, so. Uh, maybe you won't notice that much. Maybe it's fine. If it's fine, then it'll be left how it is now. But uh, otherwise, I'll have to do some more like design features to it. Uh, maybe make it so it's coupled to both uh, legs of the actual armrest, uh, armrest, the headrest, headrest chain. So yeah, we'll see about that. Um, it's currently minus one degrees, as you can tell. For those of you in the UK, you already know what we're going through right now. For those of you out of the UK, we're being hit by Russian snow. Quite frankly, I think they can keep it. I don't like it. The roads, uh, well, they're not too bad now, actually, because the uh, gritters have been down and done the magic. But, um, yeah, the roads have been absolutely atrocious today. Uh, couple that with the paths being atrocious, because obviously I've had to walk. Um, 
to the test centre, well, the test centre, the very test centre. Um, um, if you'd have seen me, you would have probably laughed your heads off, if I'm honest, because it weren't a walk, it was a waddle. I was waddling up to the test centre and waddling back down. Um, it was extremely slippy this morning, and I, uh, I'm not built for the snow. I'm, uh, I'm Yorkshire. You know, I'm a Yorkshire person. I'm built for. Hey, uh, it's right. I'm built for, you know, Yorkshire. <laughs> we don't do snow, we don't do hot weather, we don't do freezing weather, we do. It's right. Um, there's an ambulance coming up. Can I get before him? Yes. Go, go, go! And I'm out of his way. Real. Yes, I'm off to go get tea. Um, so you can sit while I order. Chill out, mate, because uh, big order. And I've probably forgot my sweat, so, you know. Um, I do hope this armor's doing what the job it's supposed to be doing. And it's not too bad for you, because I don't want you to be watching my video and getting sick at the same time. Um, but yeah, that's the same. It was kind of the same principle on, on my bike mount, my head cam, so. We'll see, we'll see. Bear with me two seconds. Actually, no, bear with me a minute. I'm slow. Very slow ordering. What can I get you? Um, tell you in a second. Ooh. Can I have a Big Mac meal? Medium or large? Uh, medium, please. What drink? Uh, can I have a chocolate milkshake with that? Anything else? Uh, can I have a Big Mac on its own? Yep. Um, can I have a hamburger? Yep. And can I have a five piece chicken select meal please? Medium or large? Um, large please. What's wrong? Uh, can I have a vanilla milkshake? Can you make that uh, Big Mac meal a large as well please, sorry. What sauce? Um, Two sweet chilli dips, please. Anything else? That's it. That's when you thank you. Thank you. Sixteen pounds summit. Not bad, not bad. That right, feeds a family of four. Yes. God, it's freezing today. You don't get it. Bash, you don't get it. Thank you very much. Yeah, you, you, you know, people from Canada bash. You don't get it because it's like over in the UK when it gets bloody cold like this, it's bloody cold. Which is really surprising to say that, like, considering yesterday it was like minus three degrees, but quite frankly it felt like four degrees. Well, yeah, you know. We don't get the... It's very rare, rare when it snows, we get the... It's cold, but it's warm, whatever. Does that make sense? Like, there's no cold breeze battering you every two seconds. But uh, mostly we get what we're getting now, which is a cold wind, and it feels like minus six. Not good. Um, so that's been meals done because I've become a meals on wheels. Um, I need to go to the shop as well. So you can sit for that. It's gonna be a long video, this, isn't it? Boop. But I kind of figured I'd do these long videos because there we go. <laughs> kind of figured I'd do these long videos because uh, you know, one a month it's not much. So yeah. Do these long videos, I'm not boring you too much. Good. At least I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah. Sauce is in there, yeah? Sorry? Sauce is in there. Yeah, sorry, what sauce do you like? Uh, two sweet chili. Sweet chili? Yeah. Cheers, bud. Cold 
my shirt. Oh, I feel proud. So yeah, um, you know when you, you, you look at your YouTube channel? Well, just, right, just look at it from my point of view, right? Because I'm going out and going off on one here, but just look at it from my point of view. I went from being a, a motor vlogging channel on motorbikes, right? And then to a nothing but rant channel. Um, and I had like 140 odd subscribers at the time. And in the period that I didn't make any videos, I've now managed to rise up to 164 subscribers. I don't know what to make of it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am so grateful. You know, I don't get paid for this anymore because YouTube are asses. Mind you, I won't get paid that much anyway. I'm making about one pence a video. But it's still, you know, whatever. Um, but I mean, I do it for enjoyment now, mainly because. Yeah, mainly because I can't believe I've got 164 subscribers. It's like, okay, and I don't want this channel to die. I mean, the name's probably going to change again, but uh, I like talking to you guys. So yeah, uh, a little personal message for Bash. Um, sorry I haven't been messenger, buddy. Uh, kind of been a bit preoccupied with the theory test thing. So, um, I will message you after this though when I get home because you, know, you might actually be in bed to be fair. But uh, I will say hello um, and please don't think I were being rude with you. I'm not. I'm not being rude with you. I was just I've been so preoccupied with getting back into work. It's just, uh, it's mental. Absolutely, utterly mental. And now I'm going to go drive down uh, Five Lanes End. I never say that one in one word because uh, it's not like I have a speech impediment. I don't. I know I hesitate quite a lot, but um, it's not so much speech impediment as it is the hesitation with me. <clears throat> because I hesitate, I, I struggle to get my words out fully and properly all the time. Grammar, whatever. Um, but yes, five lanes end. Got it! <laughs> so yeah, by the way, that's where I'm going now and it is a absolute utter nightmare. At least it was earlier this morning after I've been to the test centre because I got stuck. <laughs> Rear wheel drive car in the snow and no gritters around. Just hoping and praying that they've gritted it, but yeah. There's only so, so much hoping and praying people can do, eh? But it seems to be okay at the moment. Seems nah, it, it, yeah, I might get stuck here. Whoa! Well, um, uh, it's not bad, it has been gritted, but it's not been gritted perfectly. Yeah, this morning was really treacherous. It was like all of this, what you can see now, was all just white. Um, and the gritters kind of just kind of like the gritters have given up and said no you know what bugger it we're not coming in today we're not doing it so yeah, it was kind of annoying because i got about a quarter of the way up this road here where i'm going up now and my wheels just started to spin and spin and spin no matter what i had where i put the lsd on where i put the traction control on you know intensive dtc it was just spin wheels that's it I mean, my wheels are spinning now, but nowhere near as bad as it was this morning. A bit of sideways action. Woohoo! Yeah, it's a really weird system in this car because your normal traction control is good and then you've got your, like, your DTC. But the problem is, when it's snowy like this, it has a tendency of just stopping the car or sliding you into a kerb. So, to combat that, you have to take the traction control off to engage the LSD. I say LSD, it's not LSD, but it does, it's sort of an LSD, it's like a cheap ass version. You uh, have to basically take it off to engage it in order to do anything. So you're going to go and sit here now while I go into the shop and get 20 facts. Back in a second. Don't forget the mine. I need to wash. I'm going to get 
it's the end of this road and I'm going to have to say goodbye because I don't want you guys know where I live. So there you be told. Yeah. Right. Got the deal. So, it's kind of costing me quite a lot of money this this month and uh, next month, so I'm not very happy about that, but uh, you've got to spend it to earn it, right? Sort of. I don't know. Uh, I've just paid £111 for my test <coughs> that I booked, and I have to pay for two hours lesson. And tomorrow, this car's going in for the MOT, which I'm a whole full of out. Well, so, I'm going to bid you farewell, um, to hello, catch you in a bit, ride safe, not riding so, and uh, I'll see you next time, cheers.